He lost his 18-year-old daughter to COVID-19 back in April. Tonight, a grieving father is also angry that eight months later, the tombstone he ordered still is not at her gravesite. He says it makes it harder to feel closure. As News 6's Brian Didlake worked to get results, he learned this is part of a growing problem here in Central Florida. Louise Fontanez says he's tired of waiting, saying it's been eight months since he ordered the tombstone for his daughter who died of COVID-19. I spoke directly with the Monument Company LLC who says that the delays for the Fontes family highlights a much bigger issue. I'm at their mercy, man. You know, I just want to close it. I just want to make sure when I go visit a graveyard that there's something decent there. Luis Fontanez tells me he is growing impatient. He says it's been eight months since he ordered the tombstone for his 18-year-old daughter, Angelica Fontanez, who died this April from complications due to COVID-19. At the time, her age group wasn't able to get vaccinated. Fontanez says he paid the monument company located on Curry Ford Road for the headstone. But they want it now, 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 because they've already waited a year. We brought his concerns directly to the owner, Ted Jorge Bouchan, who says the delay mirrors thousands of other cases across the nation families waiting for that same form of closure. As funeral homes have been overwhelmed, crematories and retorks have also been overwhelmed. We are overwhelmed trying to meet this demand. Bouchan says it's a matter of supply and demand. Tombstone suppliers are overwhelmed with requests and short staffed, both of which trickles down to their business. A regular order that takes eight to 10 weeks now takes eight to 10 months. For us, our mission coming into this was to be able to help our community and when we have to take a lot of phone calls and we're giving answers according to what our suppliers are telling us and then not being able to meet those demands, it's heartbreaking. So heartbreaking it sent Bouchan to the hospital for stress. We've had to do a lot of workarounds um, to make things happen for our clients. Bouchan says it's not easy to hire help due to the type of skill set it takes to complete a job. I can't just throw anyone out into the cemetery because you're talking about a couple hundred pounds to a thousand pounds per stone. So it has to be installed correctly. Fontanez has been offered a temporary marker as he waits for his daughter's permanent tombstone. He says until that time, all he has are the memories of his late daughter. One thing I taught him was not to be afraid of anything. You know, as long as you got God on your side, you shouldn't be afraid of anything. Abushin is reminding and urging people to be patient, noting that she has had customers from other areas come to her looking for a faster turnaround. She advises people to not do that, saying that they should stay with their company and wait it out. We're in the newsroom. Brian Didlett getting results. News 6.